Hello everyone, I'm Stefan aq 3 d and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get all of the new lore badges introduced in the recent update. This video took me a good bit to make, if you enjoyed it could you do me a favor and like the video so I can see that the effort wasn't in vain. I want to play a quick 10 second intro for each zone. In this video, Gringard is the only one and is going to be the test subject. It's a big task to do every zone even if it's only for 10 seconds. But if most of you like it then I'll do one for each zone in game now and any added in the future. So let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. One more thing before I start this video. In the video description I have a link for this channel's discord. This is not a guild, it's a community chat hub for this channel and is one of the best ways to stay up to date with everything involving this channel and is a great way to meet other players in AQ3D. And for the next 6 months anyone who joins this discord will get a special role that will disappear after 6 months to show that you are with this channel from the start. But that's enough talk for now, you came here to see how to get some titles and badges. So let's roll the video. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is once you join Green Guard, you're going to want to run to your right and head towards the book that I'm running at right now. Uh, go ahead and press start. I'm going to skip all this. Sorry for anybody that was actually interested in it. You can always go back and do it and see what they were saying. The goal here is pretty simple. All you got to do is just kill the Zards. You're going to fight through three waves and then a big one's going to appear and you're going to kill it. It's pretty simple and straightforward, so I'm just going to speed this part up. The badge you're going to get for doing this is the Frogzard Hunter, and the title you're going to unlock is also the Frogzard Hunter. So all I did was rejoin Gringard, and I'm going to speed this part up as well. All you're going to do is just follow this path to the bridge, and there should be a book on it, and you're going to click on it. Alright, the Brutal Corn Fight, all you're going to do is just press start, skip all of his comments and all that good stuff. And to get this badge is pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is kill the Brutal Corn to unlock the Brutal Corn badge and also unlock the Brutal Bro title. Alright, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna turn left, jump off the bridge, run down the river, and we're gonna click on this book and it's gonna take us into the Clog Challenge. All you need to do in here is kill all three clogs and you'll receive the Green Guard Clog badge and the So Selfish title. Alright, so after finishing up that, you're going to run down this river. At the end of the river where the waterfall starts, you're going to find this little rock. And up there, you're going to find the Riverstone badge and the Riverstone title. Alright, onto the Guardian Tower. What you're going to do is you're going to turn right. We're going to run down this little pathway. Click on that bookshelf, and it's going to lead into a secret room. Now, in the middle of the secret room, we're going to find the badge Master of the Tower and the title Master of the Tower. Alright, the next badge we're going for is inside Living Stone Caverns. All you have to do is follow the path that I'm taking. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up so that way we don't have to waste our time. And right here you're going to get the Spelunker badge and the Spelunker title. So for the next badge you're going to want to go to Doomwood Forest and you're going to follow the path I'm going. And once again I'm going to speed it up to save us both time. Once you reach the base of the skeleton hand, all you're going to do is just spam jump all the way up its hand. The badge you're going to collect from this is Death's Hand, and the title you're going to get is Death's Hand. Now, I've already collected it, so when I get up here, for some reason it wasn't displaying, but it should be somewhere right around here. The next place you're going to want to go to is Bone Cliffs. Once again, I'm going to speed up the video to save us both some time. Once you get to the base of the cliff, all you're going to do is spam jump up it, and the badge you're going to collect is Free Climber, and the title you're going to unlock is Free Climber. To get this next badge, you're going to have to defeat the final boss of Skull Tower. Climb up this exact statue and stand on top of the blue flame to get the badge Necro Knighted and the title Necro Knighted. The next badge is in Boog's Tavern in Darkovia. You're going to run up the staircase and into the room in order to get the Tavern Patron badge and the Tavern Patron title. 
the last four badges for Darkovia are located inside Darkovia Forest. For those who haven't been to Darkovia Forest before, I'm going to go ahead and speed this clip up and show you how to run there from Darkovia. Once inside Darkovia Forest, you're going to go to your left and you'll find a metal gate for the instance Dimgrove and your badge will be inside there. When you're inside the instance, you're going to have to wait until you find this exact room, which means you might have to run the instance a couple times. Once you do find this room, all you have to do is follow my exact path and you'll find the badge Dimwitted and the title Dimwitted. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video and show you exactly where to go. And you should find the badge somewhere right around here. Back at the start of Darkovia Forest, I'm going to show you how to get to the Lai Chimera Challenge. Once again, I'm going to speed up the video and just follow my exact path on how to get there. Now, once you get in here, you do not have to kill the Lai Chimera. All you have to do is enter the challenge and you'll get the badge, Lai Chimera Summoned, and the title, It's All True. Once again, I'm back at the start of Darkovia Forest, and I'm going to speed up the video and show you how to exactly get to the Teratoma Challenge. Like the Lai Chimera Challenge, you don't have to kill the Teratoma, you just have to enter the challenge. The badge you'll get from doing this is... Teratoma Challenge and the title Terrorized. One thing that I forgot to mention about the Darkovia Challenges is the fact that you need to have finished the quest line in Darkovia Forest. While finishing the quest line for Darkovia Forest, one of the quests you'll have to complete is beating Little Dread in a fight. The badge that you'll unlock from this is Little Dread Bested. Now our next set of badges is located in Ashfall and we're going to go to Dragon Slayer Camp. And once again, I'm going to speed up the video and show you exactly how to get there. Just follow my steps. The nice thing about the badges in this area is the fact that you don't have to beat the challenge. All you need to do is click on the book. Once you get to this book, all you need to do is click on it and you've earned the Drac Emperor badge and the title winged it. Now the same rules apply for the next two, so instead of me repeating myself twice, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the video for both books and show you exactly how to get there. Once you click on this book, you're going to earn the Burning Man Challenge and the title The Unburnt. And once you click on this book, you're going to earn yourself the Firezilla Challenge Badge and the Kaiju Killer title. The easiest way to get to these next two badges is to type in the command I have on screen, slash join rock edge mine. Once you're inside Rock Edge Mine, all you're going to need to do is follow the path that I'm taking and you'll find the badge All Mine and it'll unlock the title All Mine. Now there's a bonus title here. All you need to do is run back to the entrance and talk to the goblin. Either craft or buy the bomb for 200 dragon crystals. And then follow the path that I'm taking and place the bomb here and you'll unlock the title Genius. <gasps> I'd like to give a special thanks to Omarize. Without him, me being able to get into the Void Halls wouldn't have been possible, because I have yet to grind out the Infernal Staff of Teleportation. So if you haven't crafted the Staff of Infernal Teleportation, if you have someone who can invite you to a party and has the Staff, you can join them in the Void Halls without having the Staff yourself to unlock this badge. With that said, in order to get this badge, all you're going to need to do is run to the left side and hug that wall so you can avoid the monsters. And you're just going to keep doing this till you get to the skull, and the map should be somewhere right there in front of the skull. It didn't appear for me, but I unlocked the badge. The badge you'll unlock from doing this is the Infernal Tourist, and you'll unlock the title Infernal Tourist. There are two more lore badges that you can collect that I have not discussed in this video. One of those two badges is the Bone Climber. In order to unlock this, you need to have beaten the Dage Underworld Parkour Challenge. I will have a link to that video at the end of this description as it goes more in depth on how to do it. And the last badge, Mousehole Parkour, which unlocks the title Cheesed It, that will be the next video I upload. I already have the footage, but I felt that the step-by-step -step guide would help players more, and rather than uploading the same footage twice, I have decided that I will give it its own video and update the end screen links after I uploaded that video. Thank you for making it to the end of this video, I hope it helped you. Don't forget about the Discord, a link for that will be in the description down below. With that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.